the podcast that's better when you're stoned, but it's um honestly mediocre that you're not, but it's okay if you're not. <laughs> I am Mac Dizzle and, and I'm I'm Joya. <laughs> let's dive on in. Yes, let's. I'm sorry, I should stop let's. eating this sucker since we're podcasting. I'm like <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, even just for me. <laughs> um, well, good morning. Hey, Guten Tag. Yeah. It's, not, it's not morning for you. It's morning for me only. Um, um, <laughs> what have you been up to today? I, d- I haven't done shit. I woke up super late today. I woke up like after 10 o'clock, which I haven't. Yeah, in like a while. Oh my goodness. I, yeah, I know. Well, I've been because Adam's not working yet, so we've been like staying up late. So I was up until like 1 30 last night. I stayed up till like eleven thirty. Oh, look at her. She's yeah, spicy. She's, she's fucking nuts. <laughs> she's um, crazy. Yeah. Um, 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 but yeah, I woke up after 10 o'clock today and I was like, I do not enjoy like waking up too late to watch the freaking news i know how lame that sounds but there's no more local news anymore after 10 a.m joy for anyone who's not watching the podcast my face is pure appalled (laughs) just graduated to this level of mom (laughs) the local news are you serious i freaking love watching the news i don't know what like the local news i just really love like knowing what the fuck is going on in my community in my community (laughs) exactly so but yeah and they do have one at like 12 that comes on but it's like a watered down version of what comes on in the morning and i just really enjoy watching the news in the morning you know and i know this for a fact because i've been to her house and me when i wake up i put on something happy like drag race (laughs) her she said news it's fucking 7 a.m and we're watching the news I just like to know what's happening. I especially like to know, like, I love where they, like, really break down the weather. Also, sometimes, like, they they do go into, like, even the weather guy, especially, like, he'll talk about, like, if there's something that's, like, affecting the whole country. Like, I feel like I've learned a lot about weather and weather systems from watching the news. Okay. And I know the news is so lame. I know. Well, is that but... like what? What? Where? Where do you? So I'm glad that you're learning things. What are you going to apply that to? What is? How is that benefiting, enriching your life? Well, I don't know if it's really benefiting my life in general, but I do like to learn things, and it makes me feel good. Of, <laughs> I'm sorry. I just speaking of drag race, I just got a text message from Hamburger Marys. They now they now text me. And they're talking about RuPaul Diva Angina tonight, 8 p.m. Oh, Angina. Yeah, Angina's going to be at Long Beach. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, my God, dude. We need to freaking... There is a big drag scene here. I just haven't tapped into it yet. And we need to, like, maybe plan next your time next I'm trip. Out there. Yes. Definitely. Because, like, we need to go and see some fucking... I've been Less... to a couple drag shows, but I haven't, like, you know gone to one where i like planned like a you know like i just found one and went in yeah Yeah, exactly yeah yeah yeah. no you got to go in there with the intention to spend a hundred dollars yes and see somebody that i that i like and that i like you know want to see very that i'm i'm always on board to go see like new faces and people i don't know i think those drives are super fun even amateur nights are a ton of fun yeah and I feel, I feel like no matter what, no matter what show you go to, you're going to see somebody that you don't know. It's not yeah. like a freaking full lineup of just like super famous queens. Like there's always going to be local people, which I also, yes, love. Love to freaking yes. see new people perform, people that I um, didn't know before and see mm-hmm, the freaking mm-hmm, pure mm-hmm. talent in some of these bitches. Pure fucking talent, bro. Like, I love drag. I know i know did you get did the freaking uh finale get ruined for you no but i it's fucking didn't matter like i wish it got ruined so i didn't waste my time watching it <laughs> wait okay Ugh, because spoiler really alert about for this. the uk yeah. so spoiler alert uk um versus the world if drag you- race if you're we're going to talk about this for the next two minutes skip ahead skip yeah. ahead yeah 
So yeah. who who would you who would you have picked to win? I mean, out of everyone that was fucking left, the no, crumbs, yeah, yeah. the crumbs. Yeah. yeah. Um, we know for sure that Panjana would have won that season because Jimbo would have been knocked out of the first round of lip syncs, for sure, because the man can't lip sync. Um, right. And then Panjana would Panjana would have murdered everyone. So she is she a lip sync season. queen for She's sure. Very. If you can lip sync to Venga Boys. What is it? What do you, what do you mean? I've got something to tell you. Oh, okay. Something for you. The fucking, it's like the Six Flags song. <laughs> oh my God. How funny. Okay. Oh my gosh. That's funny. Because um, I was thinking how the second but, song, the first song was uh, freaking Mo like and Dua Lipa oh, oh. or something. Yeah. And then the second song was Duran Duran. And I was like, why the fuck did they do that? I don't know. But fucking, the the song choices were strange to me. I think I think Mo should have won. I think Mo fucking killed it. She didn't killed do it. all of the thrashing around that Blue was doing, but she should have won. She and you know what? Won. You pointed something out to me that I feel like is really important. The when someone wins, they can't come back. Mm -hmm. And I feel like, first of all, Juju B is going to be on like 17 season by or 17 seasons by the time she dies. <laughs> Though Juju B definitely didn't. I I feel like there was multiple times throughout the season where I was like, she shouldn't have gone forward. No, she but, should have been eliminated many, many, many moons ago. Yes, but I think that Mo has a win in her future, like a season win in her future. If she comes I back, feel like, yeah, yes, yeah, for sure. But that. yeah fucking blue hydrangea fucking she is my ah 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 oh the, the villain won like uh, there's no good in the world okay but so anyways we, we have to stop yeah. we have to stop talking yes because we still people yes two minutes. Okay. Two minutes. Yeah. <laughs> that's funny uh -huh. i hope i hope they didn't just tune into the well <laughs> my, yeah i know to you just calling somebody the villain the villain won <laughs> um but um it got ruined for me. I freaking saw the winner on Twitter and I was so sad. And like, I was really, really, really just disappointed in myself for even going on. What I need to do is stop following people and stop liking tweets and stop engaging in drag race content because yeah, don't go on Twitter. I know go on a media like blackout until you see the episode. Yeah. But I dude. literally avoid certain stories. I don't, I literally like avoid Instagram and stuff. I'm like, okay, well, I have to go watch this. Yeah. Uh oh, uh, yeah. Instagram, I'm but safer. I wish, but... I wish I knew. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, there's also that little moment between Jimbo and Pangina that was pretty funny. Did you? Do you know what I'm talking no, about? That was pretty, pretty great. <laughs> um, when well, they yeah. were, yeah, okay. like in the in the workroom or whatever when they were during yeah, the. Yeah. Uh, Jimbo's like, I yeah. I could come on here and say how ugly she looked, her horrible polka I mean, dot I, I, outfit. She was not valid in any of the things that she said. Yeah, like, you mean because Pangina looked fucking great? She looked great. Yeah. <laughs> like, you're yeah. just invalid. Also, I find it really funny how, because we were talking about how Jimbo's name being Jimbo, it just, in your head, it makes you want to say him or he. But in drag, we all obviously always say like she mm -hmm, or they. Yeah. But I noticed that that is a like a thing throughout of the entire cast of Drag Race, RuPaul included, and the judges. They say him. They say he, him, talking about Jimbo. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think maybe some people say she, but well, because Jimbo isn't necessarily just a drag queen. He's yeah. a drag clown. He's literally right. a drag clown. Jimbo the drag clown. He does clown. clownery. He went to school yeah. to be a clown. I actually, yeah. so his first performance, I really hated it, but he really grew on me. After watching him on his season with Canada, I liked him more. I mean, I just think he's so incredibly talented. Yeah, no, he definitely, yeah. That fucking, that fucking, what was it? What was the challenge? Um, That sent him Talent home. show? Oh, the, the first show one. The first one. Yes. And it was like, bitch, what? What, what the, the fuck? fuck kind of acid, bad acid trip am I on? <laughs> Just a terrible acid trip. Yeah. So. Anyways. Um, do you want to take a bong rip? I was just about to ask you if you wanted to take a bong rip. Well, I do. So. Look at, look, I got, the, I got the gold stuff from 
from mj arsenal, <gasps> from MJ arsenal. Yeah, so cute. cute yes Super so cute. shiny and cute uh -huh. they yes. have really like i was looking at because i have obviously like we all have a collection of mj arsenal yeah i have so and, many mj arsenals yeah but i was looking at mine and those are like also the ones like over the years that i've kind of like given away not like a ton yeah, of them, yeah, but, yeah you know like that's like a a really good little piece to give to a friend if they need mm -hmm. one or whatever because i don't even I was... open all of them sometimes i just like, yes. keep them in the box i have two two yeah. or three that are still in the box that i haven't opened um uh, but yeah i was looking at mine and i there's like these tiny little ones from like you know years ago i don't know how many years oh ago. when he first was making the tea yes they're ones. so little like and it just it doesn't even hardly like stand up straight like it kind of yeah. does but yeah. it doesn't you know it's really not that and like Beta. now mm -hmm. Beta and now virgin. they're so they're just good look at it the filtration is great the balance it doesn't knock over and it's fucking cute and look at that base that bu yeah. bu bu base yes dude shout out to mj arsenal yeah they yeah. have some freaking cute ass stuff they truly truly do yeah honestly are you ready uh no oh my god i know i'm sorry fucking bitch sorry i have this watermelon candy that's sitting in front of me and i really want to eat it not for the purposes that it's watermelon but for the purposes that it's covered in candy like yeah. Oh, chamoy or whatever. Yes, <laughs> I am ready now. All right, cheers. cheers. <laughs> that beautiful moment of us coughing together was for whoever listens to us in the gym. Did we get that person's <laughs> name? I don't remember. I but. think it was Marissa. Uh, Marissa, that one was for you. Um, okay. What was I saying? I don't know. I forgot. Oh, no. So I have a viewer question. Somebody in my stream asked it today, and a couple other people wanted me to, to answer it from both of our perspectives. Um, but then we're also going to do some more Am I the Asshole today. That's what we're going to be diving into this this morning. Very excited. Um, but before we dive into that, the question was, how do you get over past abusive, toxic relationships, friendships? Because we both have experience with that. I was going to say, too, I'm glad that you differentiated between, like, relationships, just relationships in general, because it could be romantic, it could be a friendship, mm -hmm. it could be a familial relationship. So. But it could be both. It's both, though. Like, even if it's, yeah. like, a romantic relationship or a friendship, like, how, yeah, did, yeah. You, how yeah. did you do that? <clears throat> That's honestly a really good question for me i know what i did and i'm this is i'm just a person of circumstance and i know not everybody has this but i had a really good support system mm -hmm. when i got mm -hmm. out of a bad situation i had a really good support system behind me i had people to support me and like make sure that i was on my feet and loved and felt valued yeah which i feel like is totally like honestly can be the key to human existence like Seriously. having even just one person or two people is all you need like you don't need a big group of friends mm -hmm. or every person in your family to support you but if you have like one or two people that you know that you can trust with everything then that is enough to pull you out of some fucking deep dark spots yeah. i don't i really don't like because how did you get the courage to leave your situation you mean like the one before this one yeah this other relationship before this how did you how did I... you decide it was over well the problem with that was that i kind of knew for a long time that it was gonna end at some point and i mm -hmm. literally not me just like caressing this little mouthpiece <laughs> You're literally like, I don't know what's going on there. Um, <laughs> but I, I feel like it was one of those things where I just like, I had tried to end the relationship multiple times before, which I feel like a lot of people experience, like, 
like you you find stupid little things that you make to be this big deal because yeah. either you consciously do want to end the relationship or you are trying to get a rise out of that person or whatever which either way you shouldn't be there and it sh and it should end yeah. so i feel like i eventually just one day it just happened and I feel like that is the case with so many things in life where like one day you just like you've been putting up with something for so long, whatever it may be. And eventually you're just like, this is it. I'm done. Like, I'm not doing mm -hmm. this anymore. And I can't I can't pinpoint an exact time or event that made me like this is <laughs> it. But I do think I maybe had a little bit more uh, courage and like stubbornness i guess like willingness to like stand strong in my decision when the other person started being like a fucking asshole yeah and i know i've told the story on the podcast about how i was trying to kick my ex out because he never paid rent he just like assumed that i was just gonna pay for it and i was having help from my parents at the time and he thought that that was that meant that he was getting help from my parents too yeah and i freaking told him he needed to leave like and he was like no i'm invoking squatters rights bro okay, i watched a whole okay so i watched i know i know Netflix. what you're talking about i know what you're talking about i know what with you're the guy about. who did the squatters yes you watched it too yes i did oh my yes he stole her cats that made me cry it that was part so made me cry sad. i was already like if you guys haven't watched this it's on netflix it's called worst roommate ever and there's three different stories there's two one episode one episode and then there's the a last third one. story that has two episodes right and this is this guy is just like a serial squatter but yeah when when oh. she said that he took her cats that part literally made like brought me to tears like how yeah. could you be such a fucking piece of shit like literally you took her home give her oh. her fucking animals yes like anyways oh. so if you haven't seen it, I think that was a pretty decent watch. I like docu series things like that yeah. a lot, yeah. though. So, me too. L O, I was thinking of you when I was watching that. I was like, oh my god, imagine he like knew a little bit about the law. He could have ruined your fucking a life, Julia. Little, exactly, he could have ruined your fucking life. Yes, That's the squatters the are monsters. Yes, and it, it somehow I think it, in my head I, I was frustrated that those people have so much, so many rights. But I understand. Also, it's like you know, it's good that landlord don't have the so right to just kick you exactly. out you know it's good exactly. it is. i understand protecting tenants and things like that yeah but it, there's people just who so take many... advantage of the fucking yes. system are fucking pieces yes. of shit yes so yes well that happened he said no i'm staying for because in california if you have lived there for 30 days you need a 30-day notice to get out i don't know about the, the state laws in any other states but that's what it is in california and so he was like i'm invoking the 30 days and i hit him which was very yeah. out of character for me. Has <laughs> never happened to me before that. Never happened since. But I do. I think there was just a fucking bubbling, a a boiling point that happened. That is such weenie behavior. Literally, how could you be so fucking lame and such a loser? I just hope that that person is not still as big of a loser as they were when I left them. Because oh my god fucking pathetic. what a horrible life yes literally pathetic <laughs> we laugh yeah. about you oh my god constantly not constantly <laughs> not all the time but every time you come up we laugh it's hilarious it's a good fucking laugh i'll tell you that much yo funny story about about this guy i'm sorry one time he got mad at me because i came over to her house to talk to her and he was watching anime in her room and i literally was like sup and then i went and like did my business with her and he made her call me after and say that I was rude to him and that I didn't um, I didn't say hi to him. It's funny because I don't even heart. I, I remember that that situation happened, but I have absolutely no recollection of calling you to be like, you know, you called me. Say sorry to him. No, I, it wasn't really that. You're just like, I'm really uncomfortable. And I was like, I understand why. Who the fuck? Are you kidding me? He doesn't eat what? Fuck him. <laughs> Yeah. I was so mad. I was so mad. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> I just yeah, I cannot believe that. Uh, oh my god. Hello, well, good times. Yes. Anyways. So, so am I the asshole? 
here we have the link right here did you text it i think she texted it in the yeah chat. it's in the yeah <clears throat> okay all right i'm just do you want to do the first one you want me to do the first one you go ahead all right mm -mm -mm. holy shit all right this is a long one all right strap in Am I the asshole for asking for some compensation for helping my girlfriend sell feet pictures? No. <laughs> Maybe? I don't know. Off top, no. It's her but I, I want to hear some more comments. I just, well, because here's the thing. <clears throat> I make content with my significant other and I definitely compensate them. They didn't ask me to. Mm -hmm. But I was like, you're here doing this, mm -hmm. sacrificing this. Mm -hmm. And so therefore I will compensate you for A, B, and C. Mm -hmm. But it's not like he was like, I'm not going to do this if you don't. You know, It wasn't like that. It was always just like he wanted to help me. And I said, great. Let me also help you. Yes, for the service that you have provided to me. And because so many I others. am making bandy bands. Yeah. Thank you. Bandy, <laughs> you know? bandy bands. <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, I would like All to right. hear the extent of his role yeah. in that process. Let's hear it. My girlfriend of three years sent me a text saying that she wants to make some extra money. Her goal is to save up a total of $10,000 in her bank account because then she'll feel like she'll finally be able to spend some money on things that she wants. She currently works right now making over $2,000 a month, but I must, but must pay for college. It is $500 a month, which isn't as expensive as it sounds. That's actually not bad. $500 a month for college? Are you kidding? Um, I am currently unemployed, focusing on school, yet I, mm, mm, anyways, <laughs> mm, mm, you might be the asshole. <laughs> I am currently unemployed, focusing on school, yet I am the one to spend money on her dates or gifts for her. She brings up that she wants to spell ex sell explicit pictures of her feet on the internet. It isn't really a huge problem for her to sell them. I even offered to help her with small things to an extent. She then asked me if I would be able to set up all the payment information, talk with the people, and get payment from them, basically doing everything except taking the picture. I told her that was all fine. I just asked that I get 30%. Eat a dick. You're a dick. That's way too much. Way That's too way fucking too, much. Way Are you too much. me 30 but, fucking percent? Dude, but- Sounds like you're trying to come up off your girlfriend is I what agree. that sounds like. 30% is way too much and that completely changes things. But I was about to say that if you want somebody to run the entire business side of your business, like that's a big part. But 30% is a lot. It's too much. I agree. It's too much. It's way too much. Especially considering that she's like, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't like where well, this is going. Also to take into consideration that wherever, I don't know if she then is just going to do business on Venmo or what, but on OnlyFans, they take 20% of everything. You Literally. Make. So that's 50% of her money gone and yeah. then taxes. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> and if you think about, so if they take the 20% away, then what she gets is what she gets minus 30% of that. So that's an even larger percentage of the 30% oh of the, God, what that's she, true. Mm -hmm. so big yikes mm -hmm. um all right that's when she started getting mad she came back at me saying how she is a broke college student keep in mind we are both in college she instead told me that i should help her out with this for free which is unfair i don't think you should do it for free me i think either. that you looking at this as an opportunity for yourself was a little selfish a because she didn't come to you trying to do this asking mm. how you could make some money she came here trying to do this trying to see how she could save money for herself mm -hmm. and a partner would just want to help her do that mm -hmm. like i don't know i don't know you're like right out the gate you're asking her for 30 percent. that's insane 30 percent is so much like what i'm just hell? trying to think of like if like rajul had said anything like that like i would be astounded like if you even no. put a number on it like literally I feel like he was also just willing to help he yes. was just really willing to fucking help and mm -hmm. so i was like great yeah, well, yeah, You're when, amazing. when the person is immediately demanding a number, he's already, you know, thought about this or whatever. And I just don't, yeah, I, I think that also it, when you're in a relationship, like there's just a give and take, like you, get, you, you share things, you help each other in different ways. Like when you're like, if I'm going to do this for you, I'm going to get 
this amount of money like i don't know i just i don't like you person okay wait hold on i'm gonna keep i'm gonna keep okay this. yeah we should get actually okay. through it that's when she started getting mad she came back at me saying how she's a broke college student blah 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 she instead told me blah 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 blah, blah. I told her how she has a job, how she currently has almost 9000 in her bank account, already about to hit the goal she was talking about previously. She then said, she had, she had then said how if I already talk to the people online, i.e. Discord, how is it hard for me to do it for her? Fair. Um, I asked her if she was telling me to do all this work for no pay, and she responds by saying that she'll give me 10%. Fair. Fair. Mm -hmm. more than fair mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. she brought up that if hypothetically they sold for ten dollars and i got one dollar from her split what could i do with the one dollar i told her that i could save up some of it or spend it towards us she had then said that if i really wanted to save up money at this time i could just go get a job and put an effort into it apparently for her isn't any effort, but fair um i then told her that i'm actually doing this that if i'm actually doing this for free what am i doing she said that i'd be helping her and that i am quote unquote not her pimp she then told me that if I wasn't willing to help her out, she would go talk to the creepy dudes herself. I tell her, okay, don't you don't need to weaponize this. Mm -hmm, I tell mm -hmm. her that if she's profiting off of my help, then that's not me helping, and it's just working for her. Her response is that I don't have any bills to pay. I pay for college. That That's okay. After constantly repeating the fact that if I wanted money, I could just go get a job, I tell her that I want to stop talking about this, and I stop texting her. She texts me again after that, calling me childish for not wanting to work for 10%, and then tries to bring up my family members and how I'll end up like them. Oh, she's kind of a dick. Yeah. I stop talking to her after all of this and don't plan on talking to her again until she apologizes for it. So, you guys are both assholes. Yep. Sounds like an asshole relationship to me. It sounds like you're both assholes. Like and an actual was... assholes too, not just like kind of mean in this situation. Like they actually both sound like fucking... shitty people. Yeah, you guys just sound like mean, terrible people. <laughs> like you're out here asking her for 30%. She's out here saying you're going to be unsuccessful. Yeah, like your family. You... <laughs> like, like, damn. Bro. Damn. Man. I also, you know, like, just thinking about, like, I feel like so many of these Am I the Assholes that we've read have been, like, people that are, like, young adults. Like, yeah, if they're both they're in college. Pretty young. Yeah, and I just, like, I'm like, why, like, getting into any sort of business transaction with somebody when you're, like, fucking a child, a, a boyfriend or girlfriend, you guys are not going to be together forever. Don't right. even get into business or, like, into deep, deep don't do it. Yeah. I just L O L. Yeah. She those, was definitely trying to take suck. advantage of him and like get some free work out of him mm -hmm. for sure. Mm -hmm. Um, but he also didn't need to look at her as like a little money pot. Yes. And he also sounded I mean crazy. you don't have a job like at all. Like, even if you're in college, like what do you do? I mean how do you get money to pay for things? Like, yeah. I even like having like a little fucking i work at a pizza place two days a week or something like fucking i have a trust fund uh, respect <laughs> i'm not mad about it something <laughs> something so oh. yeah okay so my turn now okay so hold on. hold on i dropped my poker oh, i thought you broke something oh no i didn't but i could have i'm glad you didn't um wait can we take a bong rip yeah let's take a bong rip and if you're listening if you're listening <laughs> you can take a bong rip with us pack one pack one right now all right cheers cheers Okay. <coughs> <coughs> okay. Am I the asshole for giving my stepmother bad looks? No. For some context on the situation, <laughs> <laughs> my dad, 41, married my stepmother, 41, six months after my mom passed away. My dad also had an affair with the same woman since I was around five years old, from which my sister was born. 
Ooh, okay. After my mom had passed away, I started to live with my dad, but I was only able to stay with him for around a month and a half. I started hearing my stepmother telling my dad lies about me, like how I was mean to my sister or how I would pull her hair and stuff like that. The next day, my dad would punish me for what she said without even asking me if it was true. It became so bad that I no longer wanted to go with him whenever he'd come pick me up from my grandmother's house. I would fake being asleep so he would let me stay until one time he didn't want me to stay longer and I started crying. I ended up living with my grandma. As time passed, she would continue to do stuff to me. Every time I would visit, she would create a whole show about how I did something that was wrong. She would scream and cry to my dad about it until he said something to me. I always wished she'd come to his senses and put her in her place. He never did. As I grew older, I just let everything slide. I would not answer back at all. She recently went on a trip to visit some brother she has on the United States. Oh, so this person's not American. Um, in my in my Americanness, in my American centric fucking mind, I'm just like everyone's American. Oh, look, not an American. Um, <clears throat> okay. She went on a trip to visit some brother she has in the United States, and let me tell you, it was the most peaceful time I've had in a while. When she came back, she started trying to pick up fights with me for no reason. She would throw dirty looks at me or snarky comments about me or my boyfriend. This started to make me run out of patience with her. I started completely ignoring her when she spoke, which made her mad. A few days have gone by now, which leads to the current incident. Dang, this person knows how to write a story. On Saturday, my boyfriend and I had bought a dessert for my grandmother, so she left it on the fridge to eat it later. However, the next day it was gone. I asked my dad if he had taken it since he likes it too, but he said no. It turned out my sister had taken it without asking anyone and ate it even knowing it wasn't hers. I didn't say anything else and just let it go. A few minutes later, my stepmother came into the kitchen, started making a fuss about why we make it such a big deal and that she would buy new ones if it was such drama. I turned to her and told her we weren't asking anything from her. I gave her a look and repeated that we didn't need anything from her. Later, I heard her telling my dad that we were, quote, throwing her out of the house with her children for a fucking dessert, end quote. This was the last straw. I'm no longer able to be patient with her, which ends up with me giving her bad looks whenever she makes a comment I don't like. She told my dad I have been doing this. He hasn't said anything yet, but I'm sure he will later. I've never disrespected her, but I'm done with her shit and I can't hide my disgust anymore. Please tell me, am I in the wrong here? Not even a little bit. I think you know you're not. Yeah. I think you just came here to vent. (laughs) I think you know damn well you're not in the wrong here. Who the fuck would say you're in the wrong here? Yeah, honestly. Dude, the fucking... So basically, his dad married the woman that he had been cheating on his wife with for years. Mm -hmm. And then that person Mm -hmm. became... I wouldn't even call, like, stepmother. This person must be, like, a child. Well, yeah. I mean, my dad's fucking wife... My dad's wife. No person is ever going to get the word stepmother from me. But like my sister's kids call their stepdad their stepdad. They're kids. So I feel like this person must be kind of young. Which actually makes me really sad because that means that this woman is terrorizing a young person. Or maybe since this English isn't this first or this person's first language, maybe they just use the word stepmother. You know what I mean? Are we sure that English isn't their first language? How do we know they're not from like UK there's or a, something? There's a couple typos that j- and like things that just sounded oh. like not a um, pick pick up fights with me and this left the dessert- that just might be like British terminology. No, I'm. In any case, pick up fights with me doesn't even sound weird to me. There's also on the refrigerator and on the United States. So those could be typos, but... You probably meant in... The phrasing... Yeah, exactly. But the phrasing of some things sounded like a... Something like Google Translate. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm um, guessing they're from the UK. That's my guess. Well... um, Uh, Yeah, I I agree. I think that No, they're not the asshole. I think that's pretty clear. Oh, sorry. Very. 
black and white. Yeah. Easy, easy peasy. I'm glad. I'm glad we got there. Yeah, that was kind of a sad story to me, to be honest. Okay, got one. What does yeah? What does W I B T A stand for? W I B T A. Will I be the asshole? Oh, there it is. Will I be the asshole if I ask my roommate to pay for her the mug her cat broke? No, I don't think so. Somebody. It looks like people have voted this asshole. A little. <laughs> oh wait. Hold on. Here we go. Here it is. I leave my dirty dishes on my side of the sink. At the time, there were two mugs on the counter, and her cat jumped up and knocked one onto the floor, breaking off the handle. It was a special mug that I had been saving up for that I had bought for myself on my birthday. I guess it could have, I guess it could have been my fault since lately the cat's been jumping up on the dresser and tables. He never bumped the sink counter, though. I should have figured that he would eventually maybe i could have put my mug somewhere else before i washed them but i had been leaving them by the sink for the past half year with no incident i also do feel bad since i know my roommate is pretty tight on money right now at the moment i would be able to afford another one but it still wasn't easy money to come by add the fact that it's often sold out so i don't even know when or even if i would be able to get another one Mm. That sucks. If your mug is that important to you, don't leave it somewhere dangerous. Yes, but also that is like when you have something I know. that's like special like that, it's probably from like a small artist or like a freaking something that sounds like it's like hard to get. And I feel like that fucking sucks. And yeah. that could no, be a source of serious resentment later on if that person doesn't like take this figure out the situation but i agree with you if you put it if don't it kind of reminds me of like i heard one time like don't lend out anything that you're willing to that you're not willing to lose like if you need it back literally don't don't lend it out and i feel like that's kind of one of those like if something is very cherished and very important to you then you can't put it in situations like that yeah i don't know I don't know. I hate cats, though. Cats suck. Yeah, because uh, it's <laughs> funny because with dogs, it's like, oh, I put my thing on the counter. Like, it's pretty safe, generally speaking, on the counter. But with cats, a cat, danger zone. Yeah, totally. So, oh my God. Yeah, that reminds me of we put a freaking thing out on the, in like the windowsill out in the living room. And I was like, it's just really pretty like it's like i showed you it's that little propagation (laughs) or for like flowers they have a little tube vases Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's like super cute so it's in the windowsill out there right now and it looks so cute there but i'm like a cat never no definitely not like definitely not no way Uh oh yeah so yeah that's actually a pretty hard one because i don't i think you're just you're not maybe not an asshole maybe you're just a little silly Anything? Yeah, I don't know. It's tough. It's really tough on that one. Okay. Here we fucking go. Am I the asshole for asking my girlfriend if she could tell her sister to cover up? I don't even need to read anymore. Yes, yes. you are. Uh, me, 25 male, my, my girlfriend, 28, have been dating for over a year. She spends a lot of time at my house but doesn't live there. I host get-togethers a lot, and since the weather was nice, I did something outdoors. Her younger sister, who I think is 20 or 21, I will say it like this, has really big boobs. Fucking spare me. Jesus Christ. She comes to a lot of my get-togethers, and no matter what the weather is, she wears a low-cut tank top or a crop top. At most of my get-togethers, it us- it's usually just adults. I've never said anything to her because she's an adult, and everyone at my get togethers are adults this get together i told my siblings and some friends to bring their kids because i bought s'mores for them to make i told my girlfriend that i was expecting kids to show up and if she had any ideas to make it more fun for kids and she could ask her sister that's when i remembered her sister wears revealing shirts (laughs) oh no kids can't see boobs imagine if they see some cleavage oh my god he's the reason that girls have dress codes at school a hundred percent he's like i just can't focus kids just uh, there's boobs yeah there's boobs here guys yeah (laughs) 
Um, I asked her if her sister would be coming and she said yes. I asked if she could ask her sister if she could wear something a little bit less revealing because kids will be there with their parents. She said no. She's allowed to wear what she wants. I said I understand that, but I just don't want anyone to say anything bad about her. My girlfriend says I'm not allowed to decide that. Also that I'm an asshole for blatantly saying her sister has big boobs. My Period. girlfriend or her sister didn't show up and I felt terrible. I really Good. didn't mean it that way, but I guess it came out that way. <laughs> You're a dick. You are yeah. an asshole. Yeah. Ding, 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 ding. We have an asshole. Dude, but also this member when we were talking about the dad and the daughter. Mm-hmm. When the dad was like, I want her to wear a bra or I want you to wear a bra when we go out together. It's like goes with that same thing. Like, I mean, I'm not saying this guy has any right to. She's wearing a bra. She just has big boobs. And she's choosing to wear not. Yeah, to wear something. But that's what I, I, I was more so saying that maybe we should like rewind on what we said about the dad because i feel like men just should not have any say in what women wear literally ever yeah at all nobody should have anything to say about what anyone else wears unless you are butt naked in which case i think it's okay to be like can you put some clothes on (laughs) are you cold yeah (laughs) how never gets cold but (laughs) yeah dude that fuck that person yes you are the asshole and it's very clear incredibly looking at her sister bro yes and i oh you know what that reminds me of like when i was younger because i've had boobs since i was like i think it was like seven when i got like a training bra Mm -hmm. so i've had boobs for many many years yes my sister gave me a training bra like for christmas in the other room without anyone i remember yeah yeah no brothers or anything but um I, where was I going with this? Oh, my, um, my first boyfriend, like I, that I was with when I was like in eighth grade, we were together for a year. I remember his brother saying something about me being, um, developed and it just made me like, so like, he's like, I was like 13 years old and his brother's like, he has older siblings like me. So his brother was like in his late twenties, early thirties, maybe. Yeah. And I just remember being like a little weirded out, but not until I was older did I realize like, wow, that is wildly inappropriate. And like this person is, is, the sister is 20 or 21, however she old is or however old she is. So it's not exactly the same, but like, why are you talking about anyone's body? I'm just trying to, because I have a little sister who's 19. Mm Mm-hmm. And I don't, there's not an outfit that she could wear to my house that would make me feel uncomfortable around her and Rajul. Like, there's nothing that he'd be like, oh, she needs to cover up. Like, he might think that himself, but he would never say that to me. No, exactly. (laughs) And that is a big difference. Like, that is a big difference to think something and not feel the need to say it out loud. Because also, I think that's also people like checking their own, you know, checks and balances in your brain. Like, whoa, hey, that's, you know, a, something that I've been programmed to think and whatever. But this person was like, no, I'm going to say it to my girlfriend. She's got big tits and she shows them and I fucking, kids can't see that. Yeah, dude. Uh, yeah. Honestly, the sexualization of boobs is the fucking stupidest fucking thing. I mean, I do enjoy a good boob but it's also you've been programmed you've been even programmed yeah exactly but it's like yeah dude like they freaking do they nourish actual bodies like you keep a baby healthy and living through a boob like that is freaking a sick. boob is power yes so yeah you're definitely the fucking asshole. Go, yes, you go are. sit in a corner and think about what you did. Exactly. What she said. All right. Ooh, this is a long one. All right. Ooh. Okay. Am I the asshole for telling my granny's boyfriend I'm sick of cleaning up after him? <laughs> I, 28, live with my mom, 49, and grandmother, Red 73. Flag. 
and grandmother and grand and grandmother's boyfriend 69 grammy granny's boyfriend is an alcoholic like never seen him without a beer in his hand unless he was on his way to buy another to buy another alcoholic okay to buy another drink i would say yeah um but he's not a mean drunk has never mistreated granny and actually contributes to the household so as much as i don't like alcoholics i'm okay with living with him but when he's drunk he's not a great he's not great at holding his bladder like he's pitched in the bushes because making it into the house was too far and he even peed his pants a couple times and when he does make it to the bathroom he's absolutely terrible at aiming that's disgusting i have lost count the number of times i've come into the bathroom after him and had to clean off the toilet seat before i could sit down he was worse when he first moved in but got better about it after we complained about it a lot sunday night my mom my granny and her bf all went out while i stayed home alone about a half an hour after they came home i went into the bathroom and there was piss all over the toilet seat and even a small puddle on the floor in front of the toilet i'm used to this and that's disgusting (laughs) oh my god i would fucking freak continue that's disgusting a pea smells it's sticky a puddle a small puddle ew all right um so i'm used to this and i don't usually make a fuss about it but sunday it just really annoyed me for some reason and i stormed into their room and snapped at him i told him he's too old to be pissing on toilet seat like that and i'm sick of cleaning up after him lol not he said only he too had... old but also too young because he's like in his 60s or whatever because if you're like old there might be some like you know situation like that where he's on like his 80s or something but it's like you are like yeah. actually in the perfect time frame to be able to totally piss in the toilet and if it's that big of a problem sit down while you pee period exactly okay um he said that he hadn't been to the bathroom since he'd gotten home swore he hadn't been the one to pee on the seat and that he's hurt i would accuse him for no reason my granny was also angry that i accused him my reasoning was that he's the only man in the house and i can't imagine a woman making such a mess if she's sitting down and that he's done it many times before they were both angry and fussing, so I just apologized for accusing him, cleaned it up myself, and went back to my room. But my room is right next to theirs, and I could hear them through the wall, him repeating how upset and hurt he was that I would cu- accuse him of something he didn't do. And my grandmother saying she's cleaned up after everyone for years. I should not complain about having to clean up after anyone. Granny, you have a point, but your man's nasty. I'm this dying not- <laughs> at him saying it wasn't me. Like well, how what? I know I do it all the time, but yeah. not this time. And it's like no one else in this house, to our knowledge, pees standing up. So how would they how would that happen? But yeah, and if Granny Granny does have a point if you've cleaned up after people for years, I wanna know why the the person that There's still person- a little bit left. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. No, you're good. Um, this went on for nearly 15 minutes. They weren't saying it to me, but I could hear them and I felt genuinely bad about it, especially after I realized that when they'd come home, my grandmother had come to my room to see if I had any toilet paper because there was none in the bathroom and she had actually been the one to use the bathroom and not him. So somehow it was her who had made the mess and not him. Of course she did not admit to it, but if it wasn't him and my mom hasn't and sweet, it had to be her. Over the last couple of days, he's been really passive towards me. I can tell he's hurt that I snapped at him, and I do genuinely feel bad for accusing him of something he didn't do. Am I the asshole? Ooh, I, ooh. Dang. Dang. That's tough, bro. Why are oh you living at God. your granny's house? I, that's what I was literally just about to ask when you told me that there was more left. I was thinking, like, why is this young person living there it's a young woman yes young woman which i also thought that it was a man which i i know it's a double standard i shouldn't be i shouldn't be more forgiving that there's that it's a woman but i think maybe my thought went to like oh maybe she's taking care of one of them but it doesn't her mom is 49 and it doesn't sound like granny or her boyfriend need any caretaking either so what's why are you there get out of there it's just very confused i don't more context, I just feel I don't know please yeah I just I because I could never imagine um yelling at an old person for having trouble paying I understand that you think it's because of alcoholism um 
it could, it could be because of a number of things like who like who knows well but then if the, if it isn't from the alcohol if it's you know incontinence or whatever figure it out exactly but... and the person who is making those messes should at the very least be should clean up after themselves yes or you need to let somebody know hey i'm having this problem and i'm not able to yeah. pick up after myself you know, if there's something that I could maybe do for you, maybe I make your breakfast a few days a week or fucking something like there needs yeah. to be like some sort of accountability from whoever is making the PMS. That would absolutely drive me fucking insane. I already go crazy when Adam That's leaves gross. the seat up. Yes, I literally cannot imagine having to clean up someone else's pee every day. That is, whoa. That's gross. That's yeah. gross. No, thanks. So I'm kind of torn on if this person is the asshole or not. I don't know that I would have blown up on anyone like that. I probably would have been like, this is the last straw and I'm finding a way to get out of here. Yes. That's what, when you said you wouldn't, you can't figure or picture yourself yelling at an old person. I can't either. Like, I just really can't. Yeah. But yeah, remove yourself from that situation. But then, I mean, it doesn't, this problem might not be solved. Somebody needs to solve the problem and tell that person you need to freaking do, whether you're trying to or not, whether you, you know, it's this is happening so just fucking wipe the fucking thing down when you're done oh my god so um one more or yeah one more one okay. more whoa Whew. am i the asshole for asking my boyfriend to stop going to his deceased ex-girlfriend's family's house Ooh. so my boyfriend's ex passed away five years ago he does not go over to visit her family as he isn't close to him, but he goes over to walk, hike, or spend time with her dog. I can't go because she's, quote, reactive towards humans, and he just wants to spend time with the dog. I feel as though the dog will be fine without seeing him. Her family came to take care of the dog. He says, I'm the asshole because he knows she would want him to be a part of her dog's life because the dog was really important to her. But he also does this only on his days off, taking time from our relationship. I may be the asshole because he wants to go there. Um, edits to add, he also spends thousands every year on this dog, money we don't have uh, for the dog's vet bills, toys, bedding, treats, anything it needs or doesn't need, he gets it. I feel as though this is her family's responsibility, not his. This... I think that this man is living through his grief and this dog is the embodiment of his grief and he just wants to take care of it as best as he can yeah. because I... he misses his girlfriend that died. Well, but also this person referred to this deceased person as his ex-girlfriend. So did they break up and then she died or did she die while they were together? Because that's a pretty big difference, I think. That is a very big difference. Like, and you I can't... would say, I, th I don't know. Because I think maybe that person becomes an ex-girlfriend once you get a new girlfriend. It's not your dead girlfriend. Yeah. Like, but, yeah. I mean, if I just, I do think, I, I agree that the dog would be fine without him. I think, but if, unless the dog has a horrible life at that person's house. Well, I definitely case... agree that the dog is probably fine, but I don't think that this is for the dog. I think the guy is probably, if he, if this, if his girlfriend died and he, yeah. they had this dog together, like that's probably something that's very important to him. Honestly, then I feel like you should bring the dog to live with you if it's like. Yeah, I mean, that's weird. It's weird. It's weird. It's weird. It's weird. I don't know who's the asshole, though. I know. I don't I don't know. I, I don't know. Because that would kind of make me a little bit uncomfortable, too. Like, if because she says that they don't they don't spend he doesn't spend a bunch of time with her family. But like, I don't know. I don't know. I yeah. want more context. I wish I could have a freaking like all the details of like a context might be. button. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, I don't think this person is the asshole for feeling a little bit uncomfortable, but it sounds like they might not really know how to handle the situation by the time they, or by the way that they're talking. It sounds like there might be something deeper and you need to talk to them about that deeper thing. Mm -hmm. It's not, it's not just a dog at this point, I would say. Dude, really I well. mean, honestly, happy. I can't imagine, sorry to interrupt you. I just can't imagine dating someone with a deceased partner in I their know. life. That's... I have a friend who just, it's actually one of Adam's friends that we were just talking to him on the phone and he's like dating or whatever. And he was like, 
I went on a date with this girl and like 20 minutes in, she dropped this freaking my boyfriend died last month, like less than a month before her partner had died. It must've been like a semi new relationship or something like maybe not like a, you know, five, 10 year relationship or whatever. But he was like, he said that he was just like, Oh my God. And I think they hung out again. So I'll have to get, but I just, I was like, I genuinely cannot imagine what I would say or feel or anything. If somebody was like, no idea. That is like, how do you freaking, how do I be jealous of somebody who's not alive? Yes. Cause I will. Yeah. Even though people totally do. AKA my dad's girlfriend. Mm -hmm. (laughs) But yeah, what a weird situation to be in. Like, I just, knowing that you were just like somebody's like second choice, second choice, like hard, like that they're always going to be thinking about this person, even if maybe they weren't, you know, I don't know. Bless the people who come on second because I'm a first, I'm a first bitch, not a second (laughs) bitch. I'm the one who died. (laughs) I'm the girlfriend who died. All right. Not I'm the one who died. (laughs) <laughs> oh, that's funny. And with that, I think we will go ahead and wrap this up for today. Yes. And we will see you guys next week. Thank you for coming. We love you. Uh, make your choices. Be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. Tell a friend and, about uh, this podcast. Yeah, listen to it with a friend. Last yeah. it, go take over take over the audio waves at your local school drive through uh, uh, airspace military base and just go over the speakers and play this. Oh my god! Thank cuts you. to cuts to a freaking big group of soldiers and it's like, hey guys, welcome back to Two Girls One Dog, <laughs> the podcast <laughs> where it's okay. Wait, where it's better if you're stoned. <laughs> Anyway, but it's okay if you're not. But it's okay if you're not. Not mean literally not even knowing that line because it's not my line. <sighs> well, anyway, we love you guys. Thanks for coming. Be back next week. TTYL. See you next week. Bye.